and a £10,000 first prize. Okay, Both Trump and Bingham have won it before. Still Let's Bingham see who break. prevails in our first match of the day. As I say, does every player still in with a chance of qualifying. Bingham, OK, has only got one point, but he's got three more matches to play today. You saw him practising before play began. And, of course, with the group he won, he was uh, trailing early on, turned it round on day two. Trump looking good. Be very surprised if we don't see him in the playoffs tonight. Peter Lyons joining us once again for the last day. Well, we've reached the last day, Peter. It's a long event, this, but this is where it all happens now. Yeah, the business end. And any one of the seven players could still win it. I think it's what we expected yesterday. Lots of tight matches. Bingham actually he won his first match against Neil Robertson, which uh, was a match he probably should have won either 3 0 or 3 1, and then probably should have lost 3 2. He won it in the end in a decider. Then he lost a decider to John Higgins, and he lost 3 1 to Karen Wilson. But uh, got a lot of frames on the board. He wasn't happy with that shot though, he's left a, a chance here. Judd with his first attempted pot. And not a bad chance for Stuart Bingham. What? Yeah, he, uh, the Bingham that is, uh, came through just before Christmas in Group 2. He uh, made a bad start on day one, but played very, very well on the second day. You can call on those memories for this winner's group. He won the title in 2015 and then a few weeks later won the Four. World Championship. Yeah, struggled a bit for form this season, Stuart Five. Bingham, but he's been working very hard trying to find something, travelling around, putting the hours in, practising, going to a few pro-ams to try and get a winning mentality back. Yes, just 13. one of these players he would have hated not being in the Players' Championship and the Tour Championship. He'll play in everything he possibly can. Yeah, and of course this Championship 20. League is a route into another big event, the Champion of Champions. Whoever wins tonight. Only Judd Trump so far has qualified from the seven who are here. 21. Yeah, that is a, an amazing start, Dave, whether you think Neil Robertson, Kyron Wilson, Bingham, Higgins. Unbelievable that they haven't won anything yet. It just shows how tough it is to win competitions. Well, this is Bingham's Best game, isn't it, round the black spot? Developing reds, making big breaks. He made one of the 11 centuries we saw yesterday. Actually, four of them were made against him. But, of course, Jack Lazowski won 4-2 the high so far. £1,000 for the high break. Just get the feeling it's going to be a very memorable day here. I think we're going to see a really good snooker. Whoever wins are going to have to play well. Twenty-nine. you're playing a lot of matches in one day it can often be about who makes the least mistakes you know not making careless errors 35 especially as the day wears on 36 doesn't take so much out of you making centuries and winning frames in one visit and that's what all these players are good at so They'll all be looking to score pretty heavy all day long if they can. 
43. Still a couple of open reds for Stuart. Forty-four. Now he'd like to land a little bit short on this red so he could open a few more balls up for free if he could. Yeah, and that's what he's tried. He's got to be careful he doesn't screw back into the middle pocket. Definitely develop something here. 51. Well, that miss from Trump was starting to look pretty serious. He was a long way away from it. He had his hand on the table. Yeah, wrong side of the pink for Stuart, but quite a lot of cue power so it shouldn't be a problem if he decides to go around say well doesn't really need to red to the right should be a straightforward pot for him it was a little bit harder to control though the further 57. away from the ball you are Yeah, there you go. He just let it run away a little bit. You still fancy him to get this black, but it is missable now. Yeah, always a good sign as well, David, when a player just gets straight down into the shot, regardless of whether it's tricky or not. It means that they really fancy it. Yeah, he was the first person I saw when I got here this morning. He was practising... You know, quite 66. early, and uh, that's a mark of Stuart Bingham, as you say. He's uh, just a great enthusiast and seems to me can't wait to play snooker. He needs this black, and he should have won the first frame. Yeah, did he even go to bed, David, or did he stay here all night? Well, that's a good point, yeah. Maybe he was just here playing all night. Wouldn't put it past him. 73. Seventy-four. Yeah, this is impressive stuff. Never looked in trouble. So one party still on here as well. Eighty-two. Well, as I say, Trump didn't get close to that long red, and that uh, that was that, as far as he was concerned, for this frame. 89. It's all about getting in the top four this evening. Interestingly, if you look at the seven group winners, not one of them actually topped their group that they won. So it's not about 90. necessarily turning it on in at this stage it's about getting there tonight but if Bingham carries on playing like this then he will be there tonight for sure 90. yeah lovely little shot there to develop the safe red 96 Masters, which of course Trump ultimately won. He put it up that great performance against Sean Murphy, who has gone on since to play great snooker himself. Bingham beat him 6 0 in the quarterfinals. It's black for the century. What a great start. 12th century of winners' group so far, and you just know there'll be more. 104. One hundred and five. Yeah, it's hitting it like a dream this morning, Stuart. Fifty eight. 
116. Well, you can't get much better than this. 120. Well, not all snooker players are morning people, but Stuart Bing seems to be. This was like how he played in that group he won, group two, struggled day one, came back with real purpose on the second day, determined to turn things around. He left Judd Trump a long red, Trump didn't knock it in. And from Bingham's first chance, he's made a total clear. And so 138, first poke in. from Stuart Bingham. That's Bingham. how you start the last day of the Championship League. An explosive start by that man Stuart Bingham, a 138. Brilliant break, total clearance, frame one of the last day of the Championship League. Winners group Thank coming you. to a head here today. Judd Trump, Judd Trump to break. of course, at the top of the table overnight and three points. He's looking realistically for one more from the three matches he's got today to book his playoff place. They're still in the first frame on table two between Corin Wilson and Jiang Dong. Wilson with a useful lead, 53 points with. 60, uh, 75 on. Well, can Trump hit back with the same sort of firepower as Bingham hit him with in frame one? One. He's got the perfect angle on the black if he wants to crash into the reds, but see how he's feeling. Well, he's split the reds lovely, Judge but Trump. he's missed the One. black. Perfect shot, stun off the reds, off the side cushion, into the open. Reds have split absolutely perfectly. Closest to the pink spot, I think, is the one he'll be taking. One. Well, just look <laughs> where everything is. I mean, he just made a one three eight. So, well, here we go again, maybe. Yeah, this is like a practice session. Just spread the balls out, make sure that they all pop, just to get your queuing going. Just having a look. He's got to be a little bit careful because he can't really get the angle to. Hold for the next colour properly. Could be a little bit tricky if he's got to go through all the reds to get back out again. Six. 
six. Yeah, that's what he's thinking. Seven. his work here yeah, Stuart nothing to do at all with the, the cue ball oh that's very handy as well 13 Been going on the black spot Fourteen. Well, as we know, anything can sort of go wrong at any time, but we know he's playing well from frame one, so what a chance for Bingham to really take a grip of this match. Punish one error from Trump in frame one. Trump looking to split the reds. Mr. Black in this frame, and he's back in that very comfortable chair, but not, not where he wants to be, of course. I do think the Championship League, not that there's necessarily a ranking list for this, but they have the nicest chairs of any tournament on the circuit. Twenty. Twenty-one. Yeah, that's okay. Got a little bit straighter than he wanted, but no problem where the balls are. Twenty six. Twenty seven. Yeah, it's noticeable that Stuart has sort of slowed down a little bit in this break from the previous one. I think because he knows they're all there for the taking. Uh, just take a little bit more care. Sometimes, though, when you start taking a little bit too much care, that's where mistakes creep in. 33. 34. Yeah, and there you go. Oh, we screwed that by quite some considerable margin. That's a nice shot, though. Good recovery. 40. It was a real gift when he came to the table with the reds already spread. It's just a question 41. of trying to keep things as simple as possible, really. 40. It was interesting, I was talking recently to Stephen Hendry. He made his last Crucible, cent uh, Crucible maximum against Bingham at the Crucible uh, the year he retired. He retired a couple of rounds after he made the break. And he said he was only happy with a handful of shots, positional shots. He said it might have looked good, the balls are going in, but he said he just kept losing prime position and in the end sort of made his mind up. It weirdly, even though he made a maximum at the Crucible, it made his mind up that he should pack in. Cool. It's a tough skull. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously a great champion, a great perfectionist, but, uh, you know, to the sort of untrained eye, it all looked great. And even to the trained eye, it looked great, but not to him, clearly. And there you see, I mean, in a way that was coming, I think. He was just not quite ideal, was he? in terms of how he controlled things, and frame's not, not won yet, not by a long way. Yeah, and we called that a few shots ago where it was just interesting how he'd sort of slowed down, like he was just taking too much care. Wasn't the natural fluency. Yeah, you could just see that coming. 
And will it be punished? One. The good thing for Bingham is that the balls have gone a little bit more awkward than they, they were before. I suppose if anybody can clear these or get back in the game, it's Judd. Such a fantastic shot maker. And he's going to have to get one here, playing the brown. Ian didn't play a kiss the green. Five. I mean, it may not be bad. This is a really tough red along the cushion, but if he does get this, he'll be nicely on the pink and get rid of one of the difficult reds. Judd Trump wasn't easy. Five. See Stuart try and flip off the red and try and go in behind the green, possibly, or is he taking the pot on? Yeah, well, he did, and he might wish he hadn't, although he's been very, very fortunate because he didn't get close to that pot. Complete miss hit. weird it's got sort of edgy and a minute ago he was sort of in a dream position but just didn't take it and now you know, it's maybe just the weather has changed a little in this match as Trump lines this one up yeah just, just feeding off scraps a little bit at the moment but Stuart needs to get this frame wrapped up as quickly as possible Well, I can tell you that Karen Wilson has won the first frame against Xiao Guidong. There's a few former champions in this uh, group, actually. Judd Trump, John Higgins, Karen Wilson, Stuart Bingham have all won the Championship League before. That hasn't really helped him knocking the blue there. Trailing by 42. Now, Stuart's got to be careful though now because he'd like to knock one of the two reds down the table that's on the left hand side. But if he does that and doesn't cover the other one, then Judd will probably get him in trouble next shot. He can't really just go down the table with the red over the middle pocket. choice and there you go now Judd will probably play safe off the other red on the left hand side cushion and try and get him in behind the pink if he can not easy but if he could get it for that I'm afraid it's very unlike Stuart to not to not see that looks fairly obvious to me we saw a couple of frames yesterday didn't we <laughs> against Neil Robertson the, the match that Bingham ultimately won but he, he was in real control could have won 3 nil, could have won 3-1 and in the end possibly should have lost the match Play a good shot here if he's going to cover the red over the 
left middle. Now this is table two and Jiangu Dong hitting back here against Karen Wilson. Wilson won the first frame. Xiao on a break of 61 already, so Wilson needs a snooker there and that black field would make sure, although it doesn't seem to be on the next red, but three snookers needed. One. Well, a terrific shot from Trump to get in. So a frame that he's been heavy second favourite ever since he missed that black, suddenly a great chance. Seven. Yeah, still trying to fight his way in though again. S slightly awkward. It's out on the side cushion. Needs to be cued well. Eight. Yeah, struck it very nicely. Fourteen. Good red. Well, I didn't expect him to Just miss that. Just fourteen. Colors were slightly awkward. He had to hit a little bit harder than he wanted to, but. Major let off for Stuart. Yeah, this was not the Judd Trump of yesterday. You only lost three frames, remember, all day. Stuart have a go at the double. Or the treble. One. Ball run strikes again. Close to the double. But it'll settle for that nicely on the blue as well. 29 in front. Blue 34. Just need the red and any colour. Funny how quickly the game can go. Bit pear shaped. Very strange, isn't it? He made the 138. He was nicely in with a dream sort of position in this frame. Somehow went wrong, and now it's all got very edgy. And that was not edgy, one. that was a great pot. Meanwhile, Zhao Gutong's made a century, so now every player in the group has made at least one century in winner's group, just underlining the quality. In this group, one, two, four, it's going to be to level up with Karen Wilson. Yeah, now what's the shot here? Does he take the points, does he then play safe off the red and get it out in the open? Just play the snooker now. Trump one. Well, I think whatever the options were, that wasn't the one he wanted. Yeah, he's got the snooker, but it's so easy to hit for Stewart. We're just trying to make a nice full contact on it, I think, and either send it round the table or just send it to the black cushion. In fact, he may even be able to see it. Well, that's an absolute shocker from Judd. 
not sure that's much better from Stewart. It's a comedy of errors. Well, Bingham, if he loses this frame, he'll be absolutely livid. I mean, he's been in control of it most of the way. Maybe you did know what he was doing, leaving it so he could see the, the red. One. But again, that's gone slightly awkward. Yellow only pots, I think, in the in the green pocket. Not sure he can now hold for anything. Can he cut the black in? Just having a quick look at it and come across the table. It's it's a tricky shot. Such a narrow angle. Possibly the only chance he's got, though, of getting on the yellow. Now, is it running? Well, that's, a, that's his best shot of the day so far. He couldn't have possibly played that any better. Eight. Ten. When he missed the black going into the reds right at the start of the frame and surveyed the scene as he walked back to his seat, he must have thought, well, it's 2-0 for sure, but Bingham was unable to take advantage. 13. Yeah, now Judd, Judd doing the same thing here that Stuart did, trying to take a little bit too much care. Had a couple of loose shots. Yeah, not getting through the ball 17. like he wants to. The thing is, this event is so long, 16 days early on, you know, the snooker's quite carefree because it seems a long time to the end. But now we've reached the end, so this is the day where it all happens. And there's a few nerves in the air. Twenty-two. Yeah, and you just knew that that wasn't going to go perfect the way this frame's gone. So it needs one more good shot. One, two, three, possibly four cushions back round for the black. Is it coming? Is 28. it coming? It's going to be tough. I think, that, I think we knew that that was going to finish there. Points level. Judd Trump needs the black to really steal this frame. Oh, and it's not there. Trump well, that kind of sums yet. the whole frame up, really. The fact he was left with that shot in the first place and the fact that he's missed it. Yeah, just never got that cue ball under control now. Does this black cut? This is the first match of the day, Dave. I oh, know, yeah, it could be very uh, tense later on when we get into the playoffs. This is close. You know, tough shot for Stewart. It was playing that. A little bit thicker on the black to leave it down the side cushion. Answer this, Dave, yes or no? I'll let you know. Well, the answer's no, and he's missed that by a mile, because he has definitely gone for the pot there. But I think it's just sneaked past the middle pocket, so... I don't know if it cuts, and even if it does, is the white going close to the corner? Well, it would be very thin, wouldn't it, from from where he is. I think he might get the pot here and going off. Just to sum it up. <laughs> well, he has potted Same. it and the cue ball has stayed field. out. It was a very Good strange cut. frame, really. Stuart Bing about a golden chance early on. Judd Trump has scrambled it on the black and we're level at one each.
Well, it was a very dramatic frame. Stuart Bingham didn't get close to the pot here, and then it was a question, had the black run too far past the middle? The answer was no, because Judd you. Trump knocked the it in. Stuart Bingham to So break. one each in this best of five first match of the day on table one on the last day of the Bet Victor Championship League. Remember Trump top of the table overnight on three points. Bingham just won, but has, including this match, three left to play. One all on table two between Karen Wilson and Zhao Kudong. And now, of course, Trump, <laughs> he's knocking in the great long reds, which he wasn't doing in the first couple. Yeah, look at the confidence. Look how he's played that. Just round off two cushions perfectly on the blue. Even contemplate that he might miss it. Just held it for the blue. Six. Twelve. Thirteen. Red directly above the black hole pot and the red to the right of the black. Just the red below the pink pot through the gap. It 17. looks like it with the position. Oh yeah, perfect. Eighteen. Judd Trump, of course, one of the leading players now for the last decade. He's in that position, I think, in a way, he can't win. So many Quite people have said when he was winning a lot of titles, you're not winning, you know, the real big ones. This season he won the Masters and people have said, yeah, but you haven't won anything else. Well, which is it? Have you got to win the Majors or have you got to win everything? I think he's in a no-win situation, Judy. I think he's just got to go about his business himself and I'm sure he'd love to win more Majors. And I'm sure he will win more Majors. Quite a bit younger than the other players that are winning them at the 31. moment. The Ronnies and Mark Williams, John Higgins. And Neil, I think he's got a few years on Neil 32. and Selby, so. Thirty-nine. He could possibly beat all, like a lot of the records. Could Judd? I think he, he will almost certainly end 40. up with the most centuries as a pro. I know Ron is a good. Is he two hundred in front at the moment? But Judd makes so many centuries, year in year out. It's, it's hard to see him not getting in close to him past fifteen hundred. Yeah, he's uh, on 896 right now. May not make one here, though. You going for the double? Played it as Jack a shot Trump, to nothing, 47. so not much damage done, but 
She's just got to try and strike back quickly. One. He's found a terrific pot there, but no colour, I'm afraid. Still a ping, um, one. Tricky. They're just nestle in there. judgment had to make sure I didn't go too high up on that first red Stuart won't be happy with that he needed to get that white tight on the black cushion to stop Judd being able to bring the white back down there himself Safe though, so Jun's got to be careful himself. Yeah, and that's the difference. Look where the cue ball is now. To the black cushion. Limits Stuart Bingham's options dramatically. He's got could just like try and trickle up to it, but find himself in trouble again next shot or his only other option is to go somewhere near the green pocket off the red below the pink doesn't want it to be touching touching neither just handed the initiative back to Stuart and there you go we've got a new favorite for the frame at this stage even though he's 47 behind just gonna have to Play a good shot here, I'll get lucky to get out of trouble. I suppose you could try play off the side cushion and hit the one to the left of the yellow, but if he doesn't catch it full ball run the white through he's he's almost certain to just gift a chance foul and a miss oh wow four still a ping up to the back yeah often with these shots now tendencies to overcompensate too much I mean How's that? 
that was so close. Yeah, the tendency is to overcompensate too much and then end up catching this way too <laughs> thick. John Pellew, the referee here, refereed uh, the Welsh Open final, his home event recently. Foul and a miss. Yeah, the Four. good thing is he's judging the line right. Still a bingo. Just a fraction harder. <laughs> Only trouble is if he goes too hard, he'll probably leave a pot on. fraction harder and I think he possibly has left a pot on. Yeah, it's such a delicate shot he's trying to play. Well, Bingham was about this in front in the last frame, wasn't he, until things went wrong. Can he uh, turn the tide in this one? One. Fractions. Leaving that ball touching may have cost him the frame. Meanwhile, Karen Wilson is about to go 2 1 up against Xiao Gudong. If Wilson does win that match, he'll join Trump on three points. Another uh, specialist, really, in the Championship League. He really is, because he's won both versions. He's won this invitation event and the ranking version. Is it four of the seven that have won this before? Eight. Yeah, we've got uh, Trump, Higgins, Wilson and Bingham, who are former winners. There's probably not many tournaments out there that Neil's never won. 13. Fourteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Stuart gone back to playing with a bit better fluency here. Like he's got a plan in his mind, he knows what he's going to do. Manas, of course, a great 26. player after 30 years he retired and he was saying, I asked him, like, do you miss it? He said, no, apart from this sort of position when you're behind in a frame with a chance to clear up. 27. And that challenge of turning the tide in a match, that's the one thing he misses. Forget just how good a player Alan McManus was. Thirty-three. I remember watching a Scotsman and an Irishman in the final of the English amateur before they turned pro. Yeah, that 
Touching ball. Looks like it's going to cross Judd the frame. 37. Stuart doing that thing where he can see it and he just makes it look like he can't see it. Surely he's not snookered himself. I mean, he had so much room for error. And if it was close at all, he only had to do a pull it back the left side of the yellow. The red was in the open. He can't have snookered himself, surely. Well, I've seen it, David, and I don't believe it. Still up in gun. 37. Well, he's absolutely crestfallen, isn't he? All the hard work to get back in the frame, and he's just surely handed it to Judd Trump. I mean, if it was tight at all, there was no reason for Stewart to try and hold through that gap when the red was in the well, open past the left-hand side of the yellow anyway. It's weird, because for a frame and a half, he was looking a million dollars, wasn't he? But he lost his way in that last frame, and he's lost it again in this one. And these are short matches. You can't afford those sort of mistakes, really. Judd. Three. Stopped in his tracks a bit there as well. That's not the best shot he's ever played. Didn't want to be taking the yellow into the green pocket. Especially right-handed. Five. Such a great shot, isn't it? To recover. Now oh, that's obscene. <laughs> yeah, hey. that's the thing with Trump. You know, he's so talented. He can, even if he loses his way, just pull out a wonderful shot to recover. So he looked certain to go 2 0 down. He certainly could have lost this frame. So he could have lost 3 0, but 12. he's about to go 2 1 up. Yeah, I think Stewart's going to be kicking himself, especially if he doesn't go on to qualify for the semi-finals, because this match 17. should already be in the bag for him. Well, he saw his reaction. He could barely drag himself off the table. Judd Trump was delighted to get the chance. He's taken the chance. And so Trump leads Bingham 2-1. eventful match this for Stuart Bingham he began it with a 1-3-8 brilliant break and then had a great chance to lead 2-0 didn't take it and then had a chance to win that last frame didn't take it so Judd Trump with that Thank really you. hitting Four the heights leads 2-1 and has a chance to extend his unbeaten run in the winners group to four wins out of four if he wins this frame about guarantees progression to the semi-final I think shouldn't it oh yeah if he gets to four points he'll be in hello oh it looked good actually going back down the table Closer actually <laughs> to the unintended pocket. What? Just. Oh, it's 
finished. It's just give Judd the first chance. Four. A little in between, wanted to get on the red to the right so he could clear the black spot, I think. Five. I just overrun slightly. Yeah, we'll decide to go into the reds here off the blue. She can't hold it properly. Just take a chance. Taking a chance and. That red coming back round Ten. helped him. I think there's another one as well below the pack, so it's come out OK. Eleven. Not too bad. 18. Oh, pink spot, so it's out of commission, but the pink's going to go now go on the black spot anyway, so it's okay. 19. Well, just sort of a feeling slightly the stars are beginning to align for Trump in this tournament. He played really well yesterday, only lost three frames. Hasn't played great yet this morning, but has a chance to win the match. So, 26. something about this tournament, he's always seemed to enjoy it. It was his first big breakthrough. He won it in 2009 when he was still, you know, an up-and-comer. And he beat, he was in a group, winner's group, with lots of top players. And he, he was the last man standing. 31. Well, this could be end of break here. 31. Yeah, I think he's just he's hit the wrong ball there. He was playing to hit the red right at the outside of the bunch. Would have just opened them up. Well, he's trying to convince himself he can make that plant. And he could. Where's the cue ball, though? 32. There it is. <laughs> That's a signal when you sat in your chair and you think they're on nothing, and then the next minute they find a, a plant or something. Snooker gods, you see, punishing Stuart Bingham. 37. <laughs> they, they travel everywhere. They don't have a week off, the snooker gods are at every tournament. Thirty-eight. Just shows fear in the worst now, where the balls are. Yeah, I mean, the point is he's had chances. I mean, he, as I say, could have won 3 0. Certainly should have been 2 0 up. 44. 45. Yeah, just a slight lack of confidence, I think, for Stewart at the moment. He looked brilliant. 138 in the first frame, but then just tightened up a little bit in frames two and three. Fifty-one. Fifty-two. I'll be very surprised if he gets another shot here. Yeah, in front, Judd. Red. 
easy pink to come. 59. One little cannon. Probably on the outside red. Yeah, and it's match over. Yeah, he's taken these well and uh, has a chance maybe to get closer 65. to 900 centuries. He's only four away. Neil Robertson, 10 away. 66. So Judd Trump, he's going to be the first player to secure a playoff place. Three times the winner of the Championship League. He's in the hunt again for the title this evening. 72. Yeah, Judd must have the best ratio of frames per century. 73. So much younger than the others and still... Or is he third on the all-time list? Yeah, behind O'Sullivan and Higgins. Eighty. Just make the game so much easier for yourself if you score so easily. Eighty-one. All is not lost for Stuart Bingham. He's still got matches to come. Got Jack Lazowski and Jiang Dong later, but he's going to have to win them both to stand any chance because the best he can hope for is three points. That still might not be enough. We'll see. 88. Yeah, I suppose Stuart can 89. still get some momentum together. If he can win those two matches, he'll be going into the semis on the up, I suppose. It's not so much losing, though, it's how he's lost this match. He'll be really annoyed what happened in the second frame and nothing really went right for him 96. after that. Judd Trump, two balls away then from another century for the collection. And, uh, 97. Well, he's playing some stuff. He looks like the man to beat, you've got to say, in this winner's group. Blue then for Chris Century, 897 as he edges closer towards 900. 102. 104. And he's going to stay on to play John Higgins on this table next. 107. 111. One hundred and sixteen. I'm not trying uh, a showbiz shot, but anyway, one hundred and sixteen will do very nicely for Judd Trump, Trump to secure victory. Stuart Bingham certainly had his chances. He started really well, but then started to tail off a bit. And Trump, the winner, and he's confirmed as our first player into the playoffs. He's